Hello, musical viewers. My name is Usen from Multicultural New York City, a paradise for delectable international vegan fare. American citizens wish you much joy on your spiritual path of compassionate living. Welcome to part two of our program on the beloved Stevie Wonder's Inner Visions of Love. As Stevie's musical career matured, the honors and accolades started pouring in. He was bestowed the prestigious Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award, Kennedy Center Honors, and the Polar Music Prize, just to name a few. In 2009, then U.S. President, His Excellency Barack Obama recognized Stevie Wonder for his lifetime contributions to popular music with the Library of Congress Gershwin Prize for Popular Song. Now, at age 68, the energetic Stevie is still playing live concerts on his 2018 tour entitled The Stevie Wonder Song Party, Celebrating Life Love and Music. After attending a concert in August, writer Bobby Olivier of New Jersey Advanced Media had inspired words about Stevie. One of the finest songwriters we have left on this planet, and his concerts remain a joyous extension of his songbook, full of passion, experience, and humanity. Once you enter Wonder's tuneful realm, you undergo a sort of spiritual cleansing it was hard not to leave the venue feeling a little more hopeful for the world. In addition to being one of the most acclaimed musicians in history, this wonderful soul is also a United Nations messenger of peace who works to empower millions of physically challenged people worldwide. The 8th United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon said, Stevie Wonder is a true inspiration to young people all over the world about what can be achieved despite any physical limitations. In 2010, Stevie was invited to speak at the World Intellectual Property Organization, WIPO, Annual Assembly in Geneva, Switzerland, and offered these encouraging words to the international delegates. Help God's light shine on the 300th plus million that live in the dark lead their way into the light. I would like for each country represented here today to adopt and develop, and develop with WIPO or their own country a declaration of freedom for people with disabilities. It is our legacy and our gift to the future. Let's do this. Three years later, representatives answered his call by signing the Marrakesh Treaty for the Visually Impaired. Stevie personally attended the 2013 Diplomatic Conference held in the Kingdom of Morocco to congratulate the leaders for this important step of global equality for all. Today, my heart is at peace. And my faith in humanity has been renewed. Today, we are all brothers and sisters in the struggle to make this life in the future Better, not for one, but for all. This victory is most significant for many reasons. Most obviously, the positive impact of the blind and the visually impaired, but also it sends a message to all world leaders that it, it is possible to do business and to do good at the same time. Compromise should be celebrated and defined as a new world order for hope and peace. To the 300 million who are visually disabled, 
This new treaty is a major step towards access to the basics, such as works in formats such as Braille, electronic Braille, large print text, audiobooks, and speech. The first pandemic of books is coming to an end. While the signing of this treaty is a historic and important step, I'm respectfully and urgently asking all governments and states to prioritize ratification of this treaty so that it will become the law of the land in your respective states and countries. To Stevie and the world's delight, the Marrakesh Treaty, also known as the Books for Blind Treaty, came into full effect three years later on September 30th, 2016. Again, he addressed the esteemed delegates, this time at the United Nations headquarters in New York. We have seen that when empowered and enabled persons with disabilities or persons who are differently able have so much to contribute to society. I am just one example of someone who is able differently and yet I have beat the odds. Incredible. Imagine if others like me were given the opportunity to function at their full potential, how much better our world would be. 25 states have ratified the treaty, but we need more countries to join in. Especially, especially countries who are major producers of special format books to ratify the treaty so that its benefits can be widely enjoyed throughout the world. This is truly life-changing opportunity. It opens the door to the world's knowledge for visually impaired people. Excellent news, Stevie. Coming up after this short message, we'll discover how Stevie Wonders' inner vision of love extends to Mother Earth and our animal co-inhabitants as well. Please stay tuned. Welcome back, melodious friends, as we continue our look into the amazing life of the multi-talented musical genius, humanitarian and vegan, Stevie Wonder. World-renowned American singer and vegetarian himself, Michael Bolton said, if God had to choose one voice on earth in the history of humankind to speak for her, it would be the voice of Stevie Wonder. In 2013, Stevie decided to go 100% plant-based, joining the growing number of vegan musicians and singers who support the compassionate lifestyle. Perhaps it is his belief that consciousness is found in all life, including the animal and plant kingdoms, that Stevie Wonder chose a vegan lifestyle. In recent years, he has expressed an increased concern about protecting our Mother Earth through interviews and television programs. In fact, he had already indicated his respect for the environment over 40 years ago with the release of The Secret Life of Plant, a documentary soundtrack album. Stevie's song titles on the album reflect his appreciation for Mother Nature, such as the instrumentals Earth's Creation, Tree, and The First Garden and the song Power Flower, whose lyrics suggest that fairies are the caretakers of the plant kingdom. Indeed, Stevie Wonder's music reflects his awe and reverence for all sentient beings and reminds us that we are all connected. He humbly acknowledges the vast marvels of the universe in the album's title song, I Can't Conceive the Nucleus of all begins inside a tiny seed. And what we see as insignificant provides the purest air we breathe. But who am I to doubt or question the inevitable being? 
For these are but a few discoveries we find inside the secret life of plants. And some believe antennas are their leaves that spans beyond our galaxy. In September of 2015, Stevie revealed through an impromptu song on the popular late night talk show, The Late Late Show with James Corden, that he had been vegan for almost two years prior. You became vegan recently, right? It's been about a year and nine months now. How is it? I like not eating meat. Vegan. I gotta go vegan. vegan. I gotta go vegan. 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 Hang on, is this a new Stevie Wonder vegan. classic? Go vegan. 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 The following year, at Global Green's annual pre Oscar party, Stevie was honored with a Global Green Hero Award for being an environmental hero. He told People Magazine, we have to love our planet. We have to want to make it more green. In an interview with Ken Spector of Happy Cow Vegan Guide and YouTube channel, Stevie expounded further on his vegan lifestyle. I feel fresh. I had stopped eating uh, pork and beef some years ago, like, when I was maybe 24 years old. I just made the decision that I wanted to stop eating uh, meat. And so I just stopped. People have to make their choices in life. Uh, and so I say for me, you know, it feels good to, to not eat meat. I think that you have to do what's gonna be healthy for your body. You know, when I read my word, it talks about how, you know, you know, the fruit and the various plants of the earth were, were made for us to, to perpetuate our lives. So I just, I like that. In 2017, Stevie lent his singing voice to the Hand in Hand Hurricane Benefit concert in the USA, while also reminding everyone that climate change is real and that love and faith in God is the true solution. During a nationally televised primetime interview in August 2018, Stevie said, I just feel that all these various diseases that we have and all these things that are happening in the world, in part because there are people out there who don't believe in global warming, don't believe in what we do affects the world, what we eat affects the world, affects us and I just hope that people will grow up and grow out of this foolishness. Thank you Mr. Stevie Wonder for using your respected voice to stand up for our planet, animal co-inhabitants and fellow humans. We applaud you for your decades-long promotion of global unity, for being a champion of human rights and environmental protection for helping millions of individuals gain access to valuable books, and for being a shining example of compassion for all. May you continue to brighten the world with your inner visions of uplifting music, adding your light and love to the golden age. You are the sunshine of our lives, yeah, that's why we'll always love you, yeah, you are the apple of our eyes, forever you'll stay. To learn more about Stevie Wonder and his touring schedule, please visit his Facebook page. Kind viewers, thank you for watching American musical icon Stevie Wonder, The Inner Vision of Love, Part 2 of 2.